All right, now what gods is, gods is a fucking, uh, he just big ass energy forces. So a god is a big ass energy force that got rule and shit or domain over a certain aspect or area. So, and then you got all different type of gods. Some gods got a little power, some gods got a lot of power. Like the sun is the god, the moon is a god, the air is a god, the water is a god. Every person walking is a is a god. Uh, the trees is is a god that govern the trees. Is a god that govern everything for real. It's a god that govern all that shit for real. And the way to tap into the sources of that energy source, that god for real, is to do the traditions to get on their wavelength, like their frequency and shit. So once you get on there. Now you can harness their power and use it to your ability for real. And the same thing people could do with you. Another man could walk up to you and be like, all right, well, you want to get this, this, and this out of life? Well, you got to go through me. I'm going to sign you on a contract and you're going to do this and that. And now he basically your guy. He, he, he got domain over you for real because you gave up your soul's energy to him to let him control you for real. It's like fucking... Or like the air, the air give energy so you can breathe. The air is, is a god that govern the air. Is a god that govern fucking uh, the sun, everything. You, you your god in your own right. That's why everything in the world that happened come from your perspective. Whether it's good or bad, you forced it to happen to you. Because you're a god, you're controlling your fucking own universe for real. Now, the way to manipulate it is to only think about the things you want. That's why you get the law of attraction. That's why these shits work, because you a god, you can manifest these shits to work. You create all other gods. Man created god, or good god create man. It's like the chicken or the egg shit. What the real shit is, man, is a god, and he's self-created. He always self-created. That's just the way it is. So, when it come to gods and shit, that's why it don't matter which one you worship, or if you worship many or one, or if you don't even worship and you just use the, you move as a god. You really should be moving as a god for real, and not worshiping anything. You should be moving as a god amongst gods. And everything here in this universe is a projection of a real reality that really exists. So we're pro this is a dumbed down version of the way we really is. We really fucking got more power to be able to do things. Like we gotta get on the airplane to fly. We really could really just fly. Somebody told me they had a dream that they fucking could fucking fly. Only thing they had to do was wait for the wind to come. And once they ran, when the wind came, he could fly now. Somebody close to me told me this and at the same simultaneous time, while I'm reading the Book of the Dead, he had a god in the Book of the Dead named Shu, who was control of the wind. Now, really think about it. If the wind blow hard enough, you should be able to fly. A bird could do it, so you should be able to do it. You really should be able to fly and shit, but you can't because this is a dumbed down version. You're not experiencing a god version of the wind. You're experiencing a dumbed down holographic version of the wind. And that's how every shit go in the whole reality. Dumbed down version of everything. The water, dumbed down version of the wind, dumbed down version of light, dumbed down version of you, dumbed down version of everything, man. So that's what gods is, man. And in this reality, you all projection of gods, even down to yourself. So yeah, they just big forces of energy that you can harness. They just big fields of energy that you can harness.